quickly explain what an OS command injection is and why we hunt for that as bug bounty hunters and web security researchers. Command injection is an attack in which the goal is to execute arbitrary code on a vulnerable application. So if that application do not sanitize the user inputs, a hacker or a malicious hacker can impute or try to execute a an operating system command through the http headers the cookie sections and forms so that is why it is very important that while the developer or the web administrator is um, putting up a web application they should properly sanitize the input of a user don't always assume that every user would impute what you expect them to impute to impute because a lot of these users some of them if i will say are malicious in nature so they would definitely want to um, take advantage of that vulnerability this is um, a lab from bwap and we're solving the us command injection now this app by default is sending a code execution down to the terminal so I could have the ability to interact with the terminal here and if the web developer or if this web application does not sanitize my inputs and then I would use what we call OS command injection techniques to get the uh, terminal and on getting the terminal I should be able to run um, OS commands that I should not naturally run. So on this um, attack, I'm going to be using some delimiter like hyphen, double pipe. There are different delimiters. You can go to Google to search for operating system delimiters, right? Like the and, the double and, like you're trying to run two commands and you're trying to say after this command is done running, then run the second command. Just like on the space you're seeing, it's making a search to nsa.gov right so i can say after you're done doing the nsa then you run this command for me and let's see if this application will run it and if this application runs it then i know it's vulnerable to command injection so i'm trying to list the content on the page where i am and the website is listing this content all i put was an iphone and then a an op operating system command lx and the um application was vulnerable so it listed at this information for me i would like to know the working like the thing is you can start running those commands you run a linux based on operating system you can start running them here and this is very risky for um, an, op an application to be releasing this kind of information on our um, on the user input because now I can even cut the um, password we can even see all that information that we're not supposed to see just on the screen guys so let's try to see our present working directory and see if we can see that Okay, so friends, let's try to impute that again, and then pw pwd, and then we we'll send that, and then let's see if we can see see we are slash up, so we know the directory we're working on. The way to automate this scan is to use a tool called Comics, and with Comics, all I need is the URL of this website. This is the URL, and this is and next thing I need is the cookie section and this is the cookie section and the next thing I need to make my target to make my um, automation and hacking complete is the target where I want this attack to run these are just the major three things I need on my comics of um, tool to automate this hack so ordinarily you know what I did here already friends I cut this request through Bob suit that is how I'm able to see the um, cookie section. I was able to get the targets where I impute the stuff, this um, PWD request here, and I was able to catch it on my Bob suite. So friends, all I need to do is go to the terminal right now, and on the terminal, 
um, I will run this. Um, so this is the command, friends. So the command is you already know. Like I said, this is the URL of the website, and this is the cookie section of that website we caught on Bob Suit, and then this is the target. So the flags you need is dash dash URL, dash dash cookie, dash dash data, and that's all you need to automate this. And you click the enter, and it starts the attack but you follow the terminal because there are other instructions you're going to feel why you um why this attack is running first it's going to ask you for the operating system that the application is running on we already know it's a unis based operating system to so say you for unis based and it will continue and to ask us some other questions you have to follow these steps um gradually number one you need a very good network i will click yes for this why and i'll click and enter it's asking me do i want the pseudo water terminal yes i want the pseudo water terminal and i'll click enter and i have the pseudo water terminal i can do an ls and i should be able to get the same information we saw on the terminal directly on their website but this time around we are on their um terminal on their server and this is great friends we can do pwd pwd and uh, it will show us our presence working directly and i think you already know or even if you don't know you can go to go go to search for system commands that you can use to sniff out juicy information from a vulnerable target so friends thank you for watching these videos i would want you to give us a subscribe a share